Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I come to you from Ditchley Park, uh, which is part of the Ditchley Foundation, which was created by David Wills uh, in the 20th century. And uh, it has served as a forum uh, for debates on transatlantic issues, on British-American relations, and broader issues on the transatlantic agenda uh, for the past 70 years. And, um, you know, we've been discussing some very interesting things here, following the mission and the vision of the founder, which is this idea of creating a space where we can discuss uh, the strengths, weaknesses, and the future of the liberal order uh, and of the Western, uh, the Western order, you know, whether it's liberal democracy, free trade, and others. And I wanted to share with you three fundamental reflections coming out of my discussions here and outside. And uh, the overarching theme is that actually that order, that liberal Western order, is very much under threat. And it's under threat uh, from three fundamental uh, drivers or causes. One is structural uh, or exogenous and it's the rise of China and I think China's rise poses a fundamental threat particularly because China is an anti-liberal country run uh, with an anti-liberal system and the Chinese used to be very modest in their defense of their own system. They used to say you know we're not ready for liberal democracy we will see where China goes. Today they're adamant. They do not buy the Western consensus. They do not believe a multi-party uh, system with uh, abundant you know, civil and political rights is what would work for China. They think their system is more effective and they say so uh, and that it's even more transparent and accountable and through technocracy you can get better results than through democracy which is messy uh, and problematic. Uh, so that threat has been rising in the East. The second dimension I would mention would be uh, hybrid and I would link it to the uh, fact that cyberspace has made our borders far more porous and through cyber attacks and others new actors fundamentally Russia but many others are now capable of affecting of having an impact within our societies a much greater impact that they use in the past uh, that they used to have in the past so through acts of electoral interference and others uh, and manipulation and disinformation what we're seeing is these attacks try to undermine the institutions of the liberal order whether it's NATO the EU uh, the territorial integrity of our countries uh, but more subversively and maybe less visibly what these attacks seek is to undermine our own faith uh, in our institutions and in our capacity to attain objective truths, to structure an, a properly informed public debate. So they're highly, highly revolutionary and subversive because what they're trying to do is undermine the very foundations of the liberal order. Now, the third dimension of this threat, and I think this is the most significant, is the actual implosion of the order from within. The growth within liberal societies of anti-liberal sentiment. And we're seeing this in the US and Europe and in many places that more and more of our citizens um, question basic liberal values, uh, whether it's liberal democracy or porous borders and cosmopolitanism or free trade. Um, this is a, an enormous source of concern because we're seeing political movements that if successful will do more damage to NATO, more damage to the EU than any external threat that those organizations uh, face. So we face you know, this, this complex map of at least those three dimensions of threat to the order and we need to find solutions to tackle uh, all three, if this system, which has been such an enormous generator of wealth and prosperity, is to continue and to thrive. Uh, that is the sorts of debates that this foundation uh, has been trying to have for a long time, uh, and that I think is one of the biggest pieces of the agenda for the international debate and the public policy debate moving forward in the next few years. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening, and bye-bye from Ditchley in the Cotswolds, very near Oxford. Bye-bye.